Hello again, everybody, and happy Halloween 2012. Trekworks here with you guys. Uh, I've made some progress on our uh, Vulcan warp shuttle. I've laid down my, uh, I finished doing all my putty work on the seams on this, and I've laid down my white base coat on this now, and I'm starting to do some of the paint highlighting, and I thought I'd share that with some of you guys. Uh, what I've done is I've set this uh, kind of a, just a medium coat of white on this whole thing, and what I'm getting ready to do now is I've mixed up some nice, uh, pearlescent white that I'm going to lay down over top of this to give it that same look that we see on a lot of the uh, kind of motion picture era uh, starships uh, similar to what's on the Enterprise and um, this is going to turn out pretty neat so you just need to lay down a really light dust coat of the pearl to get that effect you don't want to over blob it on there it'll look too metallic-y so I'm going to show uh, how I do that right now and then after I finish doing that we're going to come back and we're going to start spraying on some of the highlight colors what I, what I want to do with this is just have my uh, pearlescent coat kind of overall on it, and then I'm going to highlight some of the other areas with uh, some of the light blues and some of the grays that we see are on the uh, uh, similar to what's on the uh, Enterprise refit to kind of match up with that since I'm doing a Starfleet version of this, and I'm going to put the 1701 markings on it. So let's, uh, I've got the airbrush all set up here. Let's go ahead and fire this up and start spraying away. Now, uh, this is just a uh, standard uh, white. Uh, pearlescent and there's no real color to this and again you don't have to put uh, a whole lot of that on this you're just doing a very very light dust coat and that's going to give it that look and when you put a coat of clear over top of that that's really going to bring it to life it's going to make that pearlescent effect just jump right out at you and again i'm not going too crazy with this I think you can probably already see it starting to show up a little bit on the camera there. Go ahead and turn this around. And now we've got to get the bottom side here. And I'm just fogging it on. I don't really want to get too close with this. I've been doing a lot of work with this paint, getting ready for... Uh, over the winter here, I'm going to be doing the... Uh, the Polar Lights 1350 refit, and I'm going to be doing some pearlescent work on that rather than the uh, uh, the other versions that we've seen out there. And I think that's going to turn out pretty nice. This is going to look really cool. Let me try to zoom in on it for you here a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe I can pick up this piece here. This stuff is already kind of drying for us here, but hopefully this will show up for you on the camera. That's got a really, really nice pearlescent look on that. What I'm going to do next is come back and... Uh, uh, do a nice uh, pearl, or I'm sorry, a clear coat on that, and that's going to seal it all up. And then I'll start, I'll let that dry for a little bit here, and then I'll come back and start adding some of the other colors. Some of the separate pieces I've got to put on the model yet, I'll paint those in some of the different colors I mentioned, like the dark gray and the uh, the light blue and the duck egg blue that we see on some of the Federation stuff. So we'll be back with that in here just a little bit. Okay, guys, after a little bit of uh, drying time and some, and some masking off of the model here, I'm back and ready to spray on some of my highlight colors. I've mixed up some of this nice uh, Star Trek duck egg blue that we're all familiar with. I'm going to paint the rear of the nacelle caps with that. I've already finished uh, spraying these little uh, detail parts that go on the side. I've done those in kind of a light gray to be a little bit different in some areas. And I've got these panels here on the top I'm going to do in the duck egg blue. And these little indentations on the side of the warp nacelles and here at the very tip of the warp nacelle. So I'm going to fire up the airbrush now and start working on that. blue color coming through. Okay, here we go. These are coming out pretty nice. Oop. I think that color is going to look pretty nice on there. Again, this is just kind of my own interpretation. I'm doing kind of my own thing on this. I, in my opinion, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these shuttles could have looked quite a bit different uh, one to the next. I don't think I'm going to do very much weathering on this one as well. 
I'm going to kind of do a clean one that's been well maintained. Okay, that's like laid down there pretty good. I'll go ahead and move these out of the way. All right, so the nacelle caps are wrapped up pretty good. I'm going to start again here, and we're going to go to work on our little panels. I've got my air pressure turned down pretty low. Maybe I may check that to make sure. Yeah, I don't want a lot of over. I don't want a lot of overspray on this, so you'll hear the compressor running a little bit more often. Alright, now all we have left on this is just the tips of our warp nacelles here. And then the top side, I'm going to be doing that. There's a little kind of black uh, grill in the area there. At the bottom side that we're going to detail with a little bit of black when we get to that part. Okay, I'm just going for the tips of this. Okay. So there we go. Uh, we'll give it just a few minutes here and we'll pull the tape off and we'll take a look at it. I've got, also got to come back and retape and do the second little rib area right there in blue. And that might do that. I might do a little bit on the bottom side there as well. I'll take a look at that in just a second, but we'll be right back in a little bit with a little update on that. Okay guys, it's uh, time for a little update here again and I've got uh, a little bit more work done on this. I just wanted to share it with you. I've got uh, the light blue color here at the back, kind of give you an idea of what this scheme is going to look like. A little bit of light blue here at the back of the nacelle. These kind of gray highlighted areas here. I got some more blue painted in and uh, the blue painted in at the tip here and this black area on the ribbed area. And I pulled all the mask off of the uh, uh, flux chiller grills and the uh, Bessard collectors. So, yeah, I'm trying to get you a little shot where you can see the pearl. Hopefully you can see a little bit of the reflection of that pearl finish on this. And uh, it looks pretty nice. So, uh, from now we just have to go back and... Uh, do the decaling on it and that's really really going to make this thing jump out nicely so that will really bring this to life. The decals are the highlight of this model and I've got to come back here and uh, uh, put my uh, grills back in here for the rear and then there's another little part that goes on the bottom and I'm going to paint this same kind of duck egg blue and uh, again when we start putting all the decals on we'll come back with another update on that and we'll be getting pretty close to getting finished with this one so until I see you next time everybody happy modeling you guys.